Good morning everyone. Today's video it's what you need to know about all the tools and accessories for diamond painting. Tools and accessories. I don't know where to start but let's do it. Uh, it's a lot of tools. It's going to be hours to clean up after this but I hope you will enjoy this video because my owl says I'm not going to sleep tonight at all. I have so much work to do, right, my dear? <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I can't wait. And this is not even everything that I wanted to show you, but hopefully this all will fit in one video. If not, I might will have to split. Let's get started. Well, let's get started with very simple tools that we need them 100% and that is labels. You can have labels, this kind of big roll, it, it, I don't know how many in here, but um, that, that is a lot of labels. So it's, you get this one, I think there's a two sizes. And let me just tell you right now that I'm not going to link it up any store, just watch in any store that I review over these years, most of them have the same stuff. Some cheaper, some more expensive, uh, you know, depends where is the website located, if it's like in UK or the prices could be different in every store. So just shop around and see what is better for you. So this was, I purchased one of the stores. It's a lots of labels and I use them on um, containers that you will see later on. Also, you can get labels. This one, I think, labels. It looks like same, but this one is a little bit longer, but uh, thinner. You see that? And I believe this one is from Walmart. You can also buy a whole bunch of uh, labels from Staples, where is uh, like a school and office supply store. And I have some in here. This container that we uh, sealed with you recently what i did in here i put labels in here this is supposed to be like a mask carrier when covid happened everybody was wearing a mask but i never put mask in here right now my labels stay in here so i know where they are and then i have in here the most awesome labels that I definitely recommend for you to get yeah so at the same time uh, in this product today that you see it's like everything you need to know about diamond painting tools and accessories and also after using them and test it out I will tell you what is good and what is not what uh, you should not waste your money and what product is amazing okay and this is one of this product that I really, really like. This labels, not only you have DMC code, um, like in here, uh, you can see I already pull out in here um, from number one to 100, I think, yeah, 99. So, and then you have an al alphabet in here if you have a symbols in uh, numbers, I mean the letters. And then also all DMC code. There's a lots of labels in here, all DMC. So this pack of labels is super good. And I really say, if you see this at the store, get it because this is really nice to do your DMC and if you kitten up your diamond painting. The other thing is really nice. It's to have this sheets that is non-sticky sheets that you can use for your diamond painting. And I use them very often. Uh, especially when I work on a big canvases and it's hard to reach some area so I use my sheets to cover some places so I can put my hand on it while I diamond paint and also I can have another uh, placement in here for my tray with diamonds and this work very very well some stores like uh which one crafties i believe um sent you with this kind of sheets um some of this you can buy well in basically in every stores i think you can buy them by the pack 
Dreamers Design also sell them. Uh, Craft is uh, put in there this kind of um, parchment paper and they are also very good if you want to, oh okay we are going to up the focus because it's a very <laughs> white stuff okay so this pieces they are nice never stick to the canvas and it's very easy to peel them back later if you work and buy the um, sections so this is something good to have or you can use oh this one i think it's the same one no this is this is something bigger i don't know where this come from but it's also same material now lots of people can mistake and put instead of um parchment paper wax paper so uh please do not use wax paper they look identical they look similar but wax paper will stack to your to your diamond painting and you will ruin it so this is something that is good to have and i love this and i use them also the labels could be square or round many different things right so next one talking uh, about the tools and accessories what should i start in here so much stuff in here so i don't know what to start with uh let's talk about wax what is good and what is not let me show you i have in here on a tray <laughs> From the candy, of course, one of my favorite candy. You can see this cute little packaging, and I believe there's somewhere else I have a different kind, um, lots of different uh, colors. Look at them. And in here is like macaroons, very cute containers. Doesn't mean you have to have it, but it's just a cute. It's a cute, first of all, as a present to have and you can see there is a much different sizes you can find them this one was i believe empty so i just put a whole bunch of wax in, inside in here don't like this way i did it but that's okay uh, now so wax is good wax could be pink wax could be blue and if you buy in like this in containers you can see that you can buy them like lots in here i already probably using one so it's three or four sometimes five inside Mm, this one wax is from dreamer design that they really started to create purple to team up with their uh, theme of purple everything is purple you can have a shape look at that as a flower and then we have a different kind of blue and pink which is blue and pink wow <laughs> yellow and blue what am i thinking about uh yes the colorful wax and also i will show you wax there's also a kit i have in here they have a purple wax and there's a more kit in here that you have a blue wax as well so for this one we will get back more to these tools and also i have in here in this container it's actually not empty but catherine put in here this is uh, museum gel it's not empty it's it's wax in here very transparent and i have to say that i try and it's to me it's too soft and just keep coming out bits and pieces feels like it's if it's this tray not straight you leak it out but it, this this bit that i just put in here it will melt to the smooth surface in here so this kind now there is a not long ago they added this kind of um, wax and i have to say that this is looks interesting right look beautiful and I think I had something else. Let's see if I didn't miss in here. Oh no, maybe this is the one. So you open the slit just to pull it. Okay, this way. And it looks like a lipstick. And I already tried this one pink one as you can see. So this one is pink. Let me just remind you and show you the other one. Take a look at snap. This one, banana, gorgeous yellow. I was super excited when I saw them in this kind of nice and colorful uh, 
of you know shape and this one is again kind of like a red a little bit brighter color so this one is a pepper uh, yes they are interesting they are nice but they are not the same as this pink wax they are super sticky very soft and diamonds they are sticking to the diamonds and diamonds getting matte not shiny and it's just not good at all um, I don't know if any of you try I would say I don't recommend they look cute they nice but the wax is ridiculously soft and as I say leave a very greasy residue on diamonds even pieces of this wax I try only one um, but I don't know by the color if they make any difference or not but it feels like it's the same thing so one more left in here it's this piece that I bought it uh, I think it's like a, another a little bit longer you can buy pack of three of these blocks like this longer one too I believe from dollar store could be from Walmart and this is a party wall party what do you call it mm, blue tack blue tack believe it or not this is my favorite wax for diamond painting and I have a whole bunch of uh, my drill pans that already together that's what when you see blue I'm using this one and I don't know this number that's the number of some this product or what but this is my favorite from all those fancy schmancy wax um, I like this one the most because it stay much longer in my pen and that is what I recommend all this cute one is well good but as I say this one is work for me much longer so this is what we have for the tools of wax now my next one just where can I put them away somewhere in the chair maybe next what I would love to show you let's go for um, let's go for this tool that is kind of important to have and that is rollers for, for diamond painting or you can use them also uh, for many different crafts for example braid with the paint if you do scrapbooking or paper craft but uh, this is particularly I, I ordered them all from diamond painting stores and I did have like this tool before one that I'm using on my kitchen to make my pierogi or pilmeni so I order one more time from the store to see if this is the same thing or not uh, and it work exactly the same but a little bit um, one side kind of wiggle but I might have to glue looks like this one a little bit loose this side kind of moving so sp specific side I have to but I absolutely love it I never use this one because this one a little bit like see like uh, round up a little bit more this one is more straight around so this this side is good for diamond painting this one not because this one is curved so this you can use for maybe even for your kitchen uh for dough but this one is awesome and what you need to do after you finish your diamond painting and you have to roll your diamonds so just for in case some diamonds didn't stick to the glue because you work with multiplacer these tools are very very nice and there's a the two different tools like this you can see that this one is have a, like a more support so this one is nice and strong very tough plastic good grip this one a little bit more fragile and make sure you put this side down because I didn't pay attention I put this way and I push and this wheel came out from here because this is just like a snap holding in here so make sure you roll this way uh, very good they both good they are a little bit um, a little bit this one longer but they work both good and you can find them at the store uh, any of this kind and also you can find at the store like this acrylic one which is super nice 
and to be honest I do not want to use this on uh, gems because I don't want to scratch this gloss so definitely this one I will use for a clay or like um, cold porcelain something or even for the paint to braid it but uh, you also can use this for diamond paint and to roll your diamonds so that's something like a very important tool that you should have you should have in your collection all right next one next tools and this video should be good for beginners because we have lots of good tools in here um, another tool that doesn't really necessary you need but I use this all the time you can you can purchase this at the stores they have a level how you can how you can set two three four five six and what this you can use for for example I use for my iPad to put this iPad if I doing something or even cross stitch uh, if you're doing for diamond paintings let me let me show you this is zoom out all the way yeah it is okay there is another tool in here that you can use with this one it's the light pad that is really really important for diamond painters when you have a dark diamond painting symbols and you cannot see it uh, you can have a here a usb cord you can connect to your computer or power bank and here is the um, your um USB plug and I put pins to hold this so it doesn't break in here because it's easy kind of separating so you can use this um, if you don't like maybe your neck sore and you can't uh, go very close into your table you can put your light pad in here okay I can I need to hold something you can put your light pad on this holder and then put your canvas and diamond paint if this is more comfortable for you if this is a little bit too high of course you can uh, lower it on the last one position and this is more kind of getting more flat and maybe this way for you more comfortable to use diamond paint and um, for the symbols it has a uh, three settings in here uh, one two three tap and you will have brighter brighter and more brighter color and fourth tap will turn it off light excellent tool it's a, like it's must to have a sorry for no color will go off so i would say this is like it's not very important but if you cannot work on a flat surface this is definitely will help for those who neck sore maybe shoulder sore and you cannot work go down to the table like I always do my diamond painting flat on the surface lots of you cannot do that for the neck injury this is a frame it's not very big but that's okay when you put your light pad on the top you get a little bit bigger field um, so this is two tools are very very useful and I use them all the time well sometimes I forget about my light pad but it is good to have uh, next one what I would love to show you what you, you what you can have uh, when you um, shopping it's the tray tools that you can have them in many many different sizes in many different colors and let me start that when we've received okay let me put this aside when we've received diamond painting we always receive them this uh, green little boat or a white boat but this one a little bit bigger usually it's a little bit smaller and from all this uh, trays that I have this is my most used and abused because this is just right in here height of my tray it's good enough area in here to place a lots of rows nice row uh, this one is just a little too small for me but you can have so many different if you have this one with the sides in here which you can use this one for to put your pen in here on the side it's actually will clip in i need the pen that is doesn't have doesn't have squishy okay see it's holding a very good like this and then you don't lose your pen 
if you have like this one. So this is cool tray, or you can have a square tray, but just like this without this extension. Also beautiful, but that's the problem with me. See, like this one is so much higher. You see how much higher this one pen uh, tray, I mean much higher so very often when I do diamond painting I kind of hit in this board because I keep forgetting to lift my pen a little bit higher as I would do this one like very very fast so but they are both good because you can create lots of lines in here bigger lines the only downfall in here there's no funnel where diamonds will coming out so to get them out of this trays, um, a little bit tricky because diamonds can jump over this board. Uh, sometimes I even use my hand to kind of get them out and then in a container. So that's the only downfall because it doesn't have a funnel. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, this one, you have a funnel. It's a nice big tray. But at the same time, this funnel are so thin. But if you have a big background uh, with the same color, this big tray are amazing because you can create lots of lines, long lines for your multi-placer. Uh, it's just when it's time to get diamonds out, it keeps sticking in here. If two of them stuck together horizontal, they hold in all diamonds. You have to keep pushing them, keep pushing to get them out. So. If some company would listen to me and make this a little bit wider, it would be amazing tray. And then from this big one, this one a little bit smaller, we have um, now kind of like this shape, but just a bigger. And so when it's time to get diamonds out, it's kind of easy in here because they all curled up in this little space. And it's easy to put in a Ziploc bag. In uh, a little container, it's not exactly comfortable to put them, but uh, I can show you that you can have this kind of tools, funnels, that will help. And this is, you can have in many different colors. They are extendable. You can see this one much bigger and square. This is really kind of heavy duty plus uh, silicone. So yes, with this one definitely will be easy just to get like this. Just maybe wash the tools first so they give it of the static um, and then diamonds will go through uh, very nice. And after you're done, you can just, you know, collapse them back. Uh, I use one of this uh, on the kitchen for the oil to put oil from the big jug to bottle to keep on the kitchen. So I use them for food and some for craft, some for glitter, some for seed beads, many, many uses, and these tools are very awesome. Uh, I'm supposed to show, to show you this later, but because we were talking about diamonds, so, uh, okay, this one is good. Now, there's a more trays uh, you can have in this kind of leaves. So it's kind of like a two trays at once shape of the leaf they are pretty and they can have a different colors but my uh, problem with this one like this one is good you see this uh, grid in yellow open so the diamonds will coming out from here from this side as well kind of opening and it's a good go to the funnel so this leaf is good uh, this one is open but the grid go all the way see to the wall so all the diamonds sticking in here and cannot coming out how about from this side no this side okay is open so this one is not open so it's a little bit sticking in here but at the same time would be much better like it's cute but if you close your diamonds in here leave it uh, this opening can create a little bit pro problem because your diamonds can just slip so I wish they would create in here a little plug to kind of cover since this is like you know cover up if you didn't finish your project you finish later to cover and you plug it so diamonds don't escape that would be very good to have like that now next one uh, tray that I really really like it's this stackable heart shape trays and go smaller and smaller and smaller you can buy them all in the same color 
buy three sizes you can buy them all like I did in here three different colors to kind of show you uh, this one I have uh, same thing little one I actually have a beads in here because I was preparing for tutorial and never have a time to finish but I first of all I like them because they are stackable I like them because you can put three colors of diamonds in them and then you close them all to like you know and it's not going to spill you can use them both for diamonds which I always kind of try to use the smaller one because it's uh, thinner in here not so high this one is higher and that's what I'm kind of my problem is but then after you are done you stack them together and it's create you know less storage space and at the same time it's very pretty diamond paintings uh, containers uh, or trays it's beautiful as a gift and I really recommend them I do love them and this one little one was Catherine's before now I have an extra because she's not doing too often diamond painting love this container so definitely I recommend to, to get them all right uh, with some diamond painting company they would send you like this kind of tray for example from Riolis uh, this trays so yes it's kind of awkward because there's no grid at all this is all just um, flat shiny surface so I do not use them for diamond painting but what I use them for if I do review or some beads and I need to put the beads in here or some kind of like a gems for nails for the glitter for nails I use them mostly for my nails stuff uh, or if I bead something and I have to uh, pick different kind of beads or just the gems for my nails so this triangle one it's it's cute but definitely not good for diamond painting don't recommend this for diamond painting uh, this one tray is big nice it has a funnel that you have to open up and then you close back if I can see from behind the camera okay and also have it three separators in acrylic uh, and you can put on in here just make sure it's straight kind of doesn't click very well but definitely kind of holding it and it comes with kind of this brush so when you want to pour later away you pour diamonds you have to um, you can use to help with this brush somebody asked me what this handle for like a hand well I guess so so you can put the uh, scrub it off the diamonds maybe but you have to be careful uh, because I try one time to pour diamonds away to my jars I pull out this one to get my next one and I did not hold this tight so from the other color kind of skip through from underneath because it doesn't feel like it go very very flat kind of keep moving this one but same kind of stuff but um, with the two separators this one is from dreamers design and they are click and look at that the tray nice glittery this one go nice and when you push let's see if you can hear it no you can't hear it but it go much kind of sturdier to the base so the diamonds would escape from underneath so the kind of similarity but at the same time it's different the only thing in here you can put four different colors diamonds in here you can put three color diamonds but same concept uh, also has an opening in here you can pull it out and this one you can uh, have in every dreamer design kit they have this new um, diamond paint and trace and also come with this kind of brush so this is something new from dreamers design this one was from stores other stores that I review and then my friends I have uh, more trays in here to show you this one is a huge huge tray amazing tray oh okay we are going after focus we need something colorful this is humongous this one I use not only for diamonds if I need to 
but also if I have to move something from one room to another to put a whole bunch of accessories to bring it to it's like I'm working from it to diamond painting tray or tray to carry stuff from one room to another if I do some resin uh, I put even put resin in here to dry because it's nice and level to create lots of lines for diamond painting amazing tool huge tool at the same time as I say if this walls would be a little bit lower I would like this tray more but other than that it's really nice tray very nice tray and then we have recently not long ago review this kind of tray that has double you have a same one as the other one with this uh, thin nozzle in here uh, to get your diamonds out and also in the same kit another tray that I did not use yet and this one looks like very nice all diamonds will pour down here to this corner and we have an opening in here the only thing I need to plug and I think I have a one extra that I have oh I forgot one more tray that I was reviewing and I will get it for you to show you right now that I reviewed the other day and they have those uh, let me just quickly quickly run because this stuff is everywhere obviously uh, in my <laughs> room I definitely will be missing something probably but you know what uh, this one that we did review with you I was looking for this one did not remember where I put it now I do and what I'm thinking I have in here one extra of this closure remember so I want to see if this will fit in here and it does it kind of seeping through light a little bit but if I put on the bottom but leave this on the top I don't think diamond can escape up there so I might will be using for this one to kind of close when I shake in diamond so I will test it out this one some other time so I will keep this or maybe even oh from this side even work better because this way is closing better now it's all cover hmm all right that's that's okay so this one since I already have this tray in here we just did with you tray review of this silicone I do not recommend it's so not comfortable for diamond painting it looks gorgeous looks beautiful but it's not comfortable diamonds doesn't slide because this is silicone if this would be plastic the diamonds would be just slide out to this opening and we of course have this closures in here maybe for something else uh, round like seed beads will be okay because they will roll diamonds is just sticking to it and after even i wash this to the static after opening it still with diamonds not go as easy so you place diamonds fast but it's taking much longer to put diamonds away to the tray later to your bags or containers so yes it looks okay and i think i order in one more color because i thought i will love it but uh, I don't know uh, may maybe I will use them only when I will do some beading for like a pearl something like a bigger beads to put them separately in here all right so that's the one I kind of mark it down for not my favorite just to let you know uh, but they have like a nice and grippy in here uh, okay so next one I think we already uh, done with trays in here but at the same time I want to show you that this kits that I have in here uh, not only because it's a bigger kit and have a smaller kit because in here you can have this with the blue kit you will have a blue trays which is cute not too often we can get blue trays and then with purple we will have nice two dark purple tray so that's again something same as the little green one it's the same size uh, here see it's a same size it's just a very unique color and I kind of like that it's kind of cute to have for some video and yes the same we have in here a wax 
purple and blue wax that we already reviewed. Okay, what's rest of in this one, I will show you. I will show you in a minute. All right. Now, uh, tools and accessories. Let's see. About the trays. I have in here more trays. This kind of trays that's stackable together with each other but i organize in here tools that you can have with diamond paintings some amazing some not so and first thing that i want to show you it's this one tool that's supposed to people call it pill crusher some other people crushing something else with it <laughs> So I try. I had. Uh, I was working. You're supposed to turn, and your if you have a diamonds that stick together, you put them in here, and you turn. They're supposed to fall apart. Well, or this uh, too far from each other, or placement not uh, very close to each other. This uh, sticking those points. I put diamonds in here, I turn, I didn't even touch those diamonds, they didn't even touch it, so I don't know, you have to put like a whole bunch of them and it's going to work, well I didn't like that because I only have like a few sticky ones and I turned and they didn't do nothing, they didn't even touch diamonds, didn't even move them because it was uh, far away, I guess it wasn't, so I guess that's to crush those who smoke and funny stuff, you know, that's what it is, somebody told me what it is. So definitely this is a zero for me, no good. Okay, the next one tools that we can receive with some a little scoop. Uh, very often we receive in those fancy containers for diamond painting and they have a little scoop plate, a uh, spoon like this. And I like them, so sometimes I use them for, Catherine used to love to use them to put them uh, she would grab a diamonds and put on a little tiny jars just to play around. This is something just a cute, okay? Just a cute. Uh, then also for my favorite, I would say what also I like in here, it's this tool. Love this tool. You open in here. Some people use this, could be for a tea. You can put tea bag in here to make a tea. Uh, but the plastic, I don't know how good the plastic is, but for the diamonds to wash your diamonds and look at that for the tea if you have a tea you push in here you see this thing is going so kind of squeezing a tea out of your bag so i think that was original why this tool created but for me i put in here diamonds i think oh i still have a diamond in here hold on <laughs> i still have a diamond one lasted in here black diamond uh, oh, and one more. There was two diamonds still stuck in here. So when sometimes we receive very dusty diamonds, I put them in here, put in a little container. Why it's not closing? Did this piece came out or what? What did they do? Oh yeah, okay. It, it does. It's snapping. I just didn't do right. So I put diamonds, I, I take a little container, some kind of bowl with soapy water and I just put this in the water and that's it. Put it on a paper towel later my diamonds and diamonds so shiny and clean. So this is definitely good for those kind of, you know sometimes I do whip and chat and we saying the diamonds are dusty and you can see that they're kind of dusty and your wax not sticking very well. This one tool is really nice to wash them. So diamond doesn't swim around the water, it just kind of stay in place. So I like this tool, I recommend them. Uh, another tool that I received, this one, it was, uh, it says in here, gift. Uh, when you put the stick on a wheel and you're supposed to place in here thin glue that I have somewhere, I just don't know where is now that strip of glue, you put this in here, you kind of roll it, put the strip of glue in here and you're supposed to pick, um, put your diamonds in a tray and you're supposed to pick diamonds. I don't think it's going to work because uh, I just I just don't think that this is will work. I see some people doing it but 
this is will spend more time for me to try to get them all and if some diamonds then stick properly close to each other then you're just going to mess on your canvas if you have a long long line yeah maybe but with this kind of tray you can get only like halfway then you have to come back and stick again i think it's just a waste time for this one uh it's really cool probably more just give it to kids to play uh for diamond painting i think it's a waste of money i don't think it's a good tool okay mm, next one these tools are super cute and super good this one is little tiny magnets. This is like a teardrop. Very cute. With the magnets. And this one shape of the shell. Many stores have them also with the cute little magnets. They are good to keep your clear sheet on diamond paint. And when you open to diamond paint, you just put one piece of magnet under your canvas. And this one on the top of the clear sheet so it doesn't keep falling and closing. So this little cute little tool good uh, and for diamond painting and also as a needle minder for cross stitchers. Uh, next one, when you receive a diamond painting you can have different kind of tools and that is multi placers. You can have a straight one you can have a see like a bandy one you can have here a strip placer many different tools but this is the clear uh, plastic and for me they are a little bit less perfect for diamond placement on the other hand this kind of tools they also multi placer but they are with this uh, hard plastic not transparent they place diamonds much more properly very nice next to each other and that's why it's one of my favorite tools to use especially this one for placer the one that i'm using all the time okay now next tools that we have we have um a little tiny look at the straighteners you can straighten your beads if you place not straight somewhere you can fix it you can put this into your pan on the other side and you have here the one place or you can put this one in here and try to fix it so you have this little tiny one you can have a little bigger then you can have a little bit more bigger see just the three sizes in here then you can have uh, I have somewhere one more tiny one where I put it I don't know but I have this yellow one there's some somewhere one more hmm can find it now uh, so this one yellow one that I say you can find this kind of tool in every hardware store where it paint or like you know for the household items uh, for the plaster and walls also will good for diamond paint and straightener because you can strain this one uh, big amount of diamonds and then we have even bigger one that this one even longer um yeah it is a little bit bigger you see that and this is one of my favorite tools because you can get big rows and just go from one side to another to put your diamond straight so yes uh, if you have a little area like this one plastic little one it's good to use this little one it really doesn't or this one or this one I would prefer this one instead if you can find this one this is the best tool ever to straighten your diamonds okay uh, now next tools what we have it would be our tweezers there's the many different tweezers you can have see like this one for example very nice and colorful and I have them review not very long ago like it's such a cute pastel colors very nice colors so this one is straight but they are not very like it's resistant but you can feel that's kind of like it's a feel cheap 
and say had to stop to recharge my battery and let's continue so this is the tweezers that you should look for sometimes they have a bandy as well but this one one of them I have pointy which is really good to pick up any fibers any loose pet hair uh, very very sharp and they are the best I would say the other one we have in here with the flat nose and they are supposed to be de-static so it's also good to pick even put gems to place and pick some also fiber or dust whatever on the canvas so this is two of my favorite if you're not looking for pretty stuff being cute in color I would say skip this and purchase this okay you will win better this way all right so next one too that you can find in a, any of the stores it could be this exacto knife very nice sharp uh, you can exchange the blade because it's turnable it's a very pretty color in here and i actually like it sometimes I open packages with them uh, if i have to cut something i have to say i like this tool so it's also for every crafter must have tool then you can find this kind of tools that has a ceramic knife and i have to say that this one tools are really good to have for those who create diamond painting in sections and you sectional your paper you want to cut on a pieces you have in here this little tiny pointy bit you see the ceramic thing like right in here this little point and that is very kind of sharp doesn't go very deep and very gentle you can cut your canvas uh, top uh, and do by the section your diamond painting so I have in here in two colors I cannot remember if there's a three colors of them um, but two for sure two of this pink and white they are absolutely same very very good also you can open packages with them if you are reviewer and you're not going to damage anything else so I also recommend I like these tools uh, now we left in here with this tray that stay in here also I have in here grippy that you can have a grippy in many colors uh, I have in here even orange one I think I have some were yellow uh, they are also very good um, for your hands to protect your hands kind of knuckles when you diamond paint too often many hours they will save your fingers and that's a nice cushiony Mm, kind of cushion for your fingers what I like to do I put two of them on one pen so when I'm using one placer I have this one then I flip for the other one here would be my multi placer for example if I would have this one in here and then we place one more okay just like that for one placer and then go for multi placer and this another tip they're very good with the rhinestones and gems because this tip are very thin so we'll grab it just the tip of your gem and not very like some other pen this one for example if you put in work on a AB colors you could pull out together or AB color pull out the wax of the pen so this one kind of also good for AB colors to use this this kind of pen white tip okay now for the trays that we have in here you can see that they are multi colorful and what's good about them if you like to work as many colors at once you can just have to label a symbol or DMC code on them so you don't mistake you can separate them by two by just pushing like this and you can have a two also each of them has an opening so you can pour diamonds into containers from both sides and you can literally they are stackable so you can have them like this in six different colors okay or you can order them as pack like this in one color so it's your choice how you like to have a multicolor or just a one color 
and I, I would say they are not bad because I like they have a, each of them have an opening this opening hold in very good so you can put diamonds away one at a time plus you can separate them after you're done and store nicely so this is not bad not bad I would say it's it's good to have and when I was uh, replacing my battery I remember that I forgot one more thing that I run and got it this kind of tray uh, this kind of tray to me I would say it's not necessary it's kind of waste of the space and uh, this is a foam they do have them in square square may be more practical than round because it's round kind of hard to put away uh, it's okay for this little green trays but look at it, just the four trays but look how much space you waste in it if to work with that just better to get those trays that I just show you and there is an opening in here on this side for the um, containers let's say for the gems but I didn't see yet big enough containers to, so it actually can fit nicely in here without falling this like it's just way too big some pens will stay in here and it's go to smaller and smaller so some will stay some will just like it's way too small I don't know good for crochet good hooks maybe I don't know so for me this one is really not necessary to have there's a much better uh, storage containers and uh, trays like that so I will say skip this one uh, next one what I want to show you is uh, let me just take away all this pen we can have them in pink we can have them in white with the kind of glittery surface uh, all right so let me put this away as well Oh, where I can put them away. Okay, somewhere in here in the corner. Uh, we will get to the pen yet, I think. Now, the other thing is very important for diamond painters, especially if you have a not good light. It's this magnifier glass, and I have a box somewhere, just a minute. I will run and get a box because, of course, I forgot. I have to stop some videos because my kids was here. All right, so here is the glasses that you can order. And I have to say, they are very good. They are very good. You can have in here, you can look at a whole bunch of lenses to exchange lots of them. Different lenses in here to replacement. And... If you know one on the strips around your head, you can put by the handle to go behind your ears. Uh, the only thing that I would say is I use on them without battery and they are still heavy on my nose. That's a downfall. They are still heavy. Even I'm using them, there's you're supposed to put in here, uh, I believe, three triple a batteries or four even and this part on a nose it really kind of burning into my nose it really digging into skin so if this would be like somewhere like a hanging on the forehead it would be okay because i really like the adjustment you can change lens to your vision you can move them up or down wherever it's more comfortable this is the button here for the light but I don't have a battery right now so I would say I like this but it's to work kinda uh, I use them sometimes for my video if I um, create video with you cross stitch for example to to see my stitches or um, diamonds more close because usually I'm far away from camera and this has really helped me to create my videos but if I don't have to, I use my big uh, magnifier light that I purchased from Michael's store. And I already showed you in my uh, videos what kind of lamp I'm using. And then also, so I would say this is a good tool to have. Okay, not for a long time to use, but it's good to have. So the next one, if you can see somewhere light, this light. I would say go ahead and get it. You can pull out in here, like kind of stretch it and pull it out. It's opening. 
and it's connected to USB cord. So I usually connect to my computer and it's create daylight, uh, dimming, brighter uh, or a little bit darker. Uh, you can pin this by in here when you turn in, this thing is open so you can pin to the table if you want to or pin to something. So this one is good because it gives you nice good light, very nice light, I like that. On another hand, uh, I have in here this magnifier that I was really excited about to have a pin. So I thought, well, this would be so good because it's kind of like a lens or open. It have light, very nice and bright light. But the only downfall in here, this clip are so bad. I can't open. This is how much I can open. I have to force myself to like... This is such a little opening. I have to fight with two hands. Ah, I can't. This is painful. This is really, really painful. They do not think good about this opening because it's supposed to open wide to go over your like a table edge. I can't. I have to use two hands sometimes. Let's see if I can show you at least. Okay, see now I open and this was supposed to be so, oh, it's already that's it. I'm losing my grip. This is so hard. So I do not recommend if you have a troubles with your wrist and your knuckles like I do. This is definitely not for you. And maybe if your husband uh, put something different in here, different clip that this is definitely nice and bright and a good magnifier. I like it. But just for this part, I say don't even bother. Don't even bother because it's very, very hard very not comfortable I'm just going to put on the floor in here because I have nowhere to put okay the lights um, now my friends this video will be extremely long I think so what I'm thinking I will put uh, maybe even part one part two maybe even part three if I have to but I will upload them all in one day so all this video Maybe to part three, if I get to there, I will add something more because I have lots of ideas uh, about all this stuff. And obviously, it's a lots of tools to think about and storage. So, uh, if I will, if this video you watch and all of a sudden video stop, it's mean that part number two is most likely uh, already on my channel or uploading as you know as you watch it because I will be working all day today because this video is going to be tomorrow which is well it's a boxing day December 26 right now this video you should see on December 27 and because if I the longest video I will create the longer will be process so maybe I will split this video to parts but I will upload all in one day got it <laughs> That was, that was a lot of talking. Okay, uh, now you might be see this one tool in diamond painting section as well. This is not bad tool. This is punch, uh, hole puncher. Um, this piece, see, you can pull this out and you can see the in here plastic kind of covering um, you know what this was uh, kind of good about if you have uh, let's say you want to hang your uh, diamond paint and like a vertical on something so you can punch some holes in here and I think there's like a one hole in here will be right under this one and then um, you can hang them, grab those little rings, like a shower curtain rings, and just hang somewhere in a closet. So I would say this one not bad, it's a good quality one. If you have one already maybe from like industrial or from um, office and school kind of supply store, but this one also is good. So I do recommend if you, if you want this one to create uh, holes it's it's work it's work very well in this one uh, next one what we are going to see is the most important as well tools that we will have it's the washi tape that we really really need when we do diamond paintings washi tape is like number one 
that must have otherwise we will be stuck in, in the sticky situation uh, let's see if I can even bring, raise my camera a little bit more uh, all right so not long ago I did video review from a website it's called Temu find my video of this uh, company and you can find up there the most beautiful washi tape ever they only not only good like for diamond painting for example for diamond painting I would use this uh, thin one this one is good for like uh, journaling and scrapbooking but absolutely gorgeous and they have a uh, tons of tons of different uh, beautiful washi tape so as this like metallic looking is just absolutely stunning you can see the more clothes in my video review and I would say go and get it because it's so good uh, now in here I have lots of washi tape some of the washi tape that I order from the stores that I review all this kind of like you can find a pack all this little tiny one different kind of colors the only thing you need to know they are kind of see-through so this is only can be good to kind of like a temporary uh, to put on a canvas so eliminate those sticky situation on the canvas other than that you cannot really frame with them because you will see um, background if that's a symbols up there on the background or like you know the DMC code writing they are not so good like this one I think it's also no this one maybe from the store as well um, they are sticky but not as sticky this one like a glittery one so many different kind uh, I did review before this like a Christmas one this is white one good for framing your diamond paint and I have it as a background so it's like a different different kind of washi tape in here and in here lots of washi tape that well some of them also from the stores that you will see especially like the stickers from one of the stores that I review uh, the stickers even good to put on your canvas on a clear sheet on a top just for, for in case you want to stretch it out your canvas and replace a clear sheet later you can accidentally put like upside down clear sheet it will stick very hard so to put little sticker on the top just a reminder where the top coat uh, of your this clear sheet it's good to use the stickers uh, and yeah look at this those are beautiful washi tape metallic you can uh, buy them as a bungle as like those um, uh, simple one or like metallic one uh, I believe one of them I order from FG normal I believe but lots of stores have them um, and yeah they are very pretty and shiny and this one lots of them in here I order uh, not order uh, I ordered this one some some of them I got as a gift from my friend as well uh, my subscribers I remember it's like a nice uh, squirrel up there uh, this one that's all from dollar store if you see in a dollar store this kind get it because it's so much up there it's a big big look at this like those regular one that we would buy look see how it's thin almost like empty and in here you have lots and they are beautiful and especially see like even i have three of this mm, not done see it's like this duck texture duck texture and I use already some it's lots of them as well and they are very sticky very nice and it's a lot in here so if you see this at the dollar store definitely grab it and also at the dollar store in my store you can find like three of this that is looks like metallic three in a package or three in a package like this holographic different kind by three you can buy um yeah you can see i use them up very well this one is like almost empty already also this nice glittery but this one less sticky this one is more sticky but more thicker this one is m much uh, thinner like very thin thin like a paper tin so that's uh, like a lots of washi tape and also what else you can have at the dollar store you see 
this kind of like a duct tape but it's a washi I call them washi tape but I think they call it what's it called yeah duct tape so from dollar store dollar 25 in Canada and this one uh, yellow one I have if I can lift it quickly my camera you see this uh, owl that's what I use for the sides on each where is my there one side and the other side I use this gold um, duct tape because if your canvas is um, smaller than your frame you definitely can put any of this uh, white duct tape uh, looks nice and glittery so definitely I would say it's good to have okay so I have so far them uh, I think that's the old colors they have or maybe even have a more it's very beautiful holographic like this one and just uh, like metallic very like it's not much of them in here like this one it's still see this one is still not open it's not very much in here if you can see it but for one or two canvases will be good and enough so obviously I already used this one and I still have some um, so I that's something that you can order at this like right in a store that you live maybe you just don't know you have them so that is for the washi tape because we need them a lot to cover all our sticky situations all right next one for the uh, glamorous thing <laughs> i would say what you can use for diamond painting after you already created your diamond painting and you want to have uh, for the frame and for example the stores now have this gorgeous gorgeous ribbons uh, Look at this. They are absolutely gorgeous and I highly recommend for you go and get it Because they are first of all look at the shine and looks like it's a uh, lots of them I think maybe two meters of each this row. It's extremely sticky because it's a very strong glue you just have to peel it but look at this you cannot even create a jewelry like a even bracelet it will be so beautiful those gems are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and you can have them in many colors this one kind of like a gem sticking out and there's a more colors I just didn't order all of them I just picked this one with the most like the most colorful then you can uh, put this on a side around your diamond painting if you wish to have so this is another product that you can find in diamond painting stores and i say go and grab it yes go and grab it and this is containers i believe from brownies yes i use some containers that's around you next one what we kind of um, oh i can show you more uh cannot reach it right now i have to go little by little in here um now here is the tools that some of you need more than the others okay <laughs> because sometimes we can be very clumsy and spill our diamonds so i have this little mini vacuums okay oh okay i'm just knocking my tools down in here here it is little cute little vacuum it's like a kitty cat look at that there and there is a button right in here that's how loud and it will pick diamonds and actually i have these two diamonds in here that's fall off the tool so let's see that's it see gun it's here so you just open um i think like an unscrew and all. so the diamonds up there now inside so this is one of this you can order like this one it's good to have especially when you spill your diamonds on a carpet this is definitely good to pick them up or you can have this one like um, uh, nicely will come to you in this little cute container like this and this one have a little nozzle with it 
uh, see you can put in here and literally pick like if it's like a lots of them so you don't have to go through the little hole like and roll around if it's like on a flat floor or something you can use this nozzle and also here is the button I have a battery up there already it will come to you without battery you have to place your own battery I believe and you can have this or in this kind of like a teal color or pink color so that's another tool and then my friends if you have a dollar store you should definitely check your dollarama here poop head <laughs> this is also vacuum for diamonds whatever for the desk uh, I just don't remember if this one have a battery or not because I remember I was reviewing one time when I was doing like a shopping haul uh, where is the this is the button hold on oh here on the side oh no I don't have a battery in here okay but look at this how cute moji this is moji so this is from dollar store in Canada I pay for this four dollars so this is something for you to look in your stores maybe you also have this you just don't know but definitely for those who keep spilling your diamonds you have to have one of these tools they are cute and they are awesome okay we will put this away and now we're going to move into um, I would say I would say let's move into the most important stuff that everybody is asking it's to have to seal diamond paint and if you have to what to use and here is the three the most impressive thing that I would say you can have it on the top of this I have here one more jar and I cannot tell you enough about this one so here is the little bungle let's review and see this is the glue that I keep talking about in my videos and I really highly recommend you to get it. This one is from um, Walmart, Super World. And this is has a nozzle so you can use it um, over and over not to worry your glue is, will dry out as those uh, super glue, you, very sticky, you can stick your hands to it. This one cure 10 like a grab in time 10 seconds and then you leave over um, 24 hours or something or 12 hours but it grabbing really fast because before this video I f I find out that I actually forgot that this pen I've received broken this one placer was broken when I received in uh, one of the packages so right before video I just put this tip on the top and I put glue on it it's already I think safe enough for me to close but yeah it's already ready and I we will see drill pins later a little bit more so this is a must have because very often I receive my drill pen broken or something else diamond painting tools broken I keep this very close to me must have uh, another must have this is your treasure glue tack it over and over uh, you can buy them at michael store you can buy on amazon big bungle like of six of this if you need lots but i will say that one of this tube will be um, uh, last you for a long time here's the size now what is good for for example you diamond painting and you find out that some of your diamond painting area missing glue it's not sticky what you have to do put a little bit with the brush of this glue let air out for a few minutes to kind of dry out even you know and it's going to be very very tacky like your glue on a diamond painting and then you put diamonds on it and diamonds will never fall out it will be sticky I have a video tutorial how I was testing out and I show you how to fix it 
um, what's the video called how to fix your diamond painter or something I don't know but I was using this as an example and I was showing what else I was using this glue for as a crafty material for something else for stamping so yes this is also must have now another um, two of this they have a different in the stores you probably see many times this kind of product uh, diamond painting sealer and they are a little bit different this one have uh, and I think you see this one have like this opening sometimes they have like um, like a squ squishy on the top uh, this one is just a uh, open like this it's a clear oh, is it closing or not and this one have a, a again uh, or like this you can open or in here on the top and you have this nozzle in here to go nice and thin if you have to I have to say that they are both good to seal your diamonds uh, diamond painting the canvas still will be flexible and they will hold the diamonds uh, and I will show you difference between this and this this one I bought in my store I believe or Home, Home Depot probably here we have a uh, hundred uh, milligram and here we have look at the 946 it's uh, I believe in a store some of them say 20 bucks no, I think it was like a seven even maybe that was some kind of error but this one around for thirty dollars mm, maybe close to 40 I don't know 33 maybe can't remember but it's so much in here more and they also good you just have to make sure it's the um, crystal clear non yellowing and the difference how you this one I recommend definitely more for like a 3d diamond painting project because it's a will create more stiff product this one create more flexible kind of a little bit life to it and to show you the difference between them also I use uh, resin for some of my product and if I would say resin uh, I would have uh, res with the resin you will have this glossy glossy uh, like a gloss yeah very very shiny uh, but with this one or this one product you will have almost the same result it's kind of it's a shiny but very a little shine you see the it's almost like a, like a little tiny glaze but not much so that's the difference that this one doesn't have like a nice thick layer but it's still saving your diamonds to from fall out so there you go this is uh, all the stuff that you just need to have and I think they are all this all this product it's like you have to have in your crafty area because it is very very good all right let's put this aside um next one now let me just uh, probably pause it or okay let's not to pause it let me get this one a little bit as well and then we will maybe pause it so i can clean up a little bit now this kind of uh, diamond painting little folders you can have them in purple or red and when they come out first to the store this is like a felt material uh, very nicely done but the only was downfall for me this was it and that's it that's it one two three six nine so 18 packets only it's like not very enough and they don't have like a, any so basically you can put like a one bag it's not even very thick bag because it's not much room in here so plus it's going to be open and there is a no zipper around so diamonds will can fall out so after that like when I saw this I asked stores if they can create something better that would be more um, sleeves inside for more diamonds because if you have a diamonds more than 18 colors then this one would be not enough even they are cute so after that company came out uh, and thank you for listening this one a little bit different kind of uh, 
let me see and they have a tons of bags in here i think they all come in here with this bags a lot and like a good thick quality bag but what this book about they have like a refillers this one is book and also oh, what in here oh also in here look at this all the gmc code and labels which is very uh, wonderful so if you see this kind of stuff you might want to have it and this one book like a foldable oh, hold on here it is there and in here now we have a more kind of you know like i have my leftovers diamond painting and this kind of sleeves that i use in them so now they created uh, just a four at, on one page but are they oh what oh okay so this one it's interesting see i didn't want to start one packet go in here and one packet go in here so that's also kind of nice so if you put in here they all gonna fall out from this side so you have to keep them kind of like this vertical but you can have a more refillers to put inside kind of clear top interesting but that's the kind of like they did upgrade it after I say that the other one was like too skimpy uh, and not enough pages. That's what they come out with. But uh, I don't know. This one may be a little bit better than the other one. It's just uh, kind of weird how they place those packets opening from one side to another and not like stackable from one side. So you have to keep this book vertical for sure otherwise diamonds will slide out so i still i would say this is maybe a little bit better but not my favorite not my favorite for diamond storage so it's as up to you if you want to purchase this or not uh, next one i will show you mm, let's just well yes i i already since i already show you this uh, containers uh, for because I wanted to compare the sealer how it looks like after resin and after the regular sealant but also this is uh, the my favorite diamond painting tools I have my waxes usually in here three different or two different and then a whole bunch of pans which I do have in here the pointy tweezers my see a two squishy and my no this is not my favorite tool uh, i think i pull it out because usually i work with the four placer the other kind not this one and this was my gift from bonnie interesting pen very nice placement with this one i think i i want to uh try to create something like this maybe with resin just to put three tips like this one together and try to create a uh, very very comfy it's a it's a heavy but very comfy this replacer in here so yes this is kind of like good containers they are look pleasant very look nicely and i'm just using it like a different tools uh, which i already showed you before this is like for cross stitch miscellaneous um, tools and remember i told you i have three of them so here's the three colors of this cross stitch and tools and this one another one containers like i love this container so definitely uh, order them and then here i collect my scissors and here usually uh, magnets and this is something also very amazing tools to well accessory for the tools to order because they are really good 